Hello and welcome to today's edition of the Women's Afcon Profile. For today, we profile Team Nigeria, the Super Falcons. The nickname of the Nigeria Women's National Team is the Super Falcons and they are 11-time champions of Africa Women's Football. So yes, they won the Africa Cup of Nations for 11 times and that's the record number of times. So the Africa Cup of Nations has been held only 13 times and 11 of the times have been won by Nigeria showing how dominant they've been so far on the continent. So the last three editions of the Alcon was won by Nigeria, that's 2014 in Namibia, 2016 in Cameroon and also 2018 in Ghana. This year's edition is being held in Morocco and the aim will be to win it for a fourth consecutive time. So as I mentioned earlier, the Alcon has been held 13 times and Nigeria have won 11 of it. The only country to have won the Alcon aside Nigeria is Equatorial Guinea and they have won also two times. Well, Equatorial Guinea are not at this year's Afcon, which means Nigeria are the only team in the Afcon to have ever win the trophy. So this year's Alcon promises to be a very, very thrilling encounter with Nigeria already inviting 32 players into their camp so they qualified to the Alcon after beating Ghana first in the qualifiers 2-1 they won on aggregate the first leg ended 2-0 in favor of Nigeria and then the second leg was a 1-0 loss losing 1-0 to Ghana but then because of the 2-1 win in Nigeria they qualified to the next round in the next round they faced Cote d'Ivoire where they won 3-0 on aggregate 2-0 was the result of the first game in Nigeria and the second leg was also a 1-0 victory over Cote d'Ivoire and that game was in Abidjan, qualifying them straight to the Women's Africa Cup of Nations. Head coach of the Nigerian women's team, that is Randy Waldrum, has invited 32 players to camp to prepare for this competition. And these players features quite a bit of experienced campaigners. You have Francesca Odega, who has won four of the Women's Africa Cup of Nations. Also, the captain of the side, Onome Ebi, also winning four of the titles. Osinati Ohale also winning four, and even as his shot, Oswala winning three of the outcomes so a lot of these players are very experienced and have won a lot of titles already on the continent also they've invited a couple of other players who will be playing their first afcon including ashley plumther who played for leicester city in england who switched to nigeria recently also nicole Payne, who plays in usa also switching to nigeria recently so a very experienced side in the outcome nigeria is in group with south africa also botswana and finally Burundi. So this outcome is also qualification for the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup which will be held in Australia and New Zealand in 2023. So all teams who make to the semi-final will automatically qualify to the World Cup. The last competition Team Nigeria competed in was in the Aisha Buhari Cup which was sort of a friendly competition where they lost in the final by 4 goals to 2 to South Africa. Also the last time they lost a game was against Ghana in the Alcon qualifiers when they lost by one goal to zero in Accra, Ghana. The Nigerian women's team has been training and preparing for the Alcon which will be held in Morocco from the 2nd of July. So they have already secured a friendly game to be played with Japan which will be a few months before the commencement of the World Cup because they are anticipating to reach the semi-final of this year's Africa Cup. Well, to rate the Nigerian team in this Alcon, they have the best of players. They have the most experienced side in the Alcon and also, they have a coach who will be playing his first ever outcome, but also very, very good coach. I think they are the favorites for the competition. And anytime Nigeria play in a Women's Africa Cup, they've always been the favorites. And I think this year is not going to be any different. They are still going to be the favorites for the competition. I think the least for this Nigerian team is going to be the semi-final. And the most is going to eventually clinch the trophy itself. So tell me, what are your predictions for Nigeria in this year's outcome?